This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Jennifer Griswold with 3 News Now and here's a look at what's happening now. Coronavirus claimed the lives of two people in Nebraska Friday as the total number of confirmed cases climbs to 89. Health leaders say one of the deaths was in Douglas County, a man in his 50s, the other a woman in her 60s from Hall County. Both had underlying health issues. Governor Pete Ricketts reacted to the death today during a news conference. In Iowa, there are now 235 cases with three deaths. The Iowa Department of Public Health announced an additional 56 cases and two deaths on Friday. On 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Seppel with this latest forecast for your weekend. And yes, we're going to see rain kind of on and off throughout the day. Some showers here and there, even some thunderstorms, but I think they're going to be pretty isolated and not really widespread. And I don't really think severe at this point, but we will see some major warming going on, especially down at the south of I-80, where you get a little break in the cloud cover, mid to even upper 60s along the I-80 corridor, probably looking closer to mid to even upper 50s and then a touch cooler further north. And that's because that northwest wind starts blowing in and that starts drawing in a lot of cool air. Now again, around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon is when the switch on our winds will be taking place going from the south to the northwest. That's when the rain will become more widespread as this system continues to keep pulling across eastern Nebraska, western Iowa. It's going to dump some decent amounts of rainfall anywhere between a quarter to a half an inch, mainly along I-80 to the south with some isolated spots like Tacoma, Columbus, Wayne, Norfolk and York, potentially maybe seeing up to about an inch or maybe even a little bit more, especially with those heavier bands set up. By 10 o'clock in the evening, we pretty much get done with this rain and we're going to see drier conditions for your Sunday. First, we're going to have to deal with some pretty strong winds, especially as the front moves through between three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Gusts will really start to pick up, switching from the northwest. Sustained winds of 20 to 35 miles an hour and gusts up to 50 miles an hour possible, especially I would say after maybe 9, 10 o'clock in the evening. And you can see that here on our sort of scale that we're showing you. Again, we're probably still going to see those gusts up to 25 out of the northwest at even 6 o'clock in the evening. But we jump up to a 40, maybe even 50 mile per hour wind gust overnight. Wind sticks around at least until the mid-morning hours at the strong levels, and then they back off quite a bit by the time we get into Sunday afternoon. How that impacts the rest of your weekend? Well, we're going to go from 59 up to about 60 on Sunday. Still a little cooler day for us from the standpoint of we start off with 38. Breezy day, but we get some sunshine, which is going to feel so much better outside. Monday, still some clouds around 65, so nice warm up there. And a rain chance starts to pick back up late Monday night, really overnight into Tuesday. Got a little bit more spottier activity, mostly in the morning and isolated chances for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We stay mainly in the mid to even upper 50s for most of next week, but we cool it down by the tail end of the work week. Stuck at home? We've got you covered. My peaches are baked to perfection in a 450 degree oven, hands free after bake. From oven to box to your door. Call me, Godfather's Pizza. Do it.